What's up everyone, it's me again, I'm back for y'all with a new Inazuma 11 Ghost Strikers video on my channel. Uh, I'm still ill. Who would have guessed, and I probably will be for the next few videos, as these tournament videos are usually all recorded within a few days only. So yeah, I'm here, it's Wednesday now. Um... I don't know. Yeah, uh, Ragnarok Tournament. Uh, our opponent for today uh, is Astral. I'm unsure which round this is. It's not very far, I can tell you that. Uh, it loses round 4. Uh, I don't think that's Astral. So I'll be right back for you in a second. Okay, this should be Astral. He's playing Nomash as expected. Kitaki, Wing Tayo, Tenma. We're first to mix Max. Kishiba offensive mid. Oh, he's actually playing the Team Ochre goalkeeper. Interesting. Okay. He gets his auto mix max out, I don't mind. When dribbling here we saw all of our players being charged. It's time to shine now. We just gotta act quick before his Onizuka decides to charge too. There's Tayo, 170 for a start. I'm a bit concerned about Minamisawa's positioning. Oh yeah, he's the first. That's not too good. But on the other hand, I don't mind. Goenji's pretty strong. 229. Needs 14 RNG to save that, considering we got 6. That's still pretty good, and adult Goenji's there as well. 263, that's the 1-0. Okay, let's go. I was kinda hoping that by taking a bit longer... Okay... There's this Tayo... Sure, let's give him the Tayo. Well, that, that just kind of free here. <laughs> okay. Predict of hero time. Successful. Maybe for now we just push a bit. There's no one to beat me anyways. Ah, but Minamisa was too small against Zagomel. Okay, 
Okay. Should be our ball with Torp here though. His wing Torp might be annoying though. Let's just Tenma. Going into Kazumaru. But our defense is tight enough here. Tight enough to get the ball off him and mix Max on Arc into Soso. Soso comes in. Disaster breaker. Goenji's there. Minamisa was there. Adult Goenji should be there too. Minamisa on here. And he actually played that well. I hope Gunji would be on the ball because Gunji's chain can knock away others. Minamisawas didn't hear. So that's safe for him, but no problem. I think Gunji's good enough to score on his own too. So we just drag out another Arthur. There's Tayo. <laughs> Saru coming in. My chin was not charged anyways, I can just wait here. Let me just get in here with Saru a bit. He's not gonna expect that. <laughs> ah, and Saru gets hit. By the thing. By the hero time. Unlucky here. Gwenji on the run. Corpse there to stop him, which is fine. There goes his Torp Mixture Max. He loses a block though. So this just both got easier and harder at the same time. Just gonna shoot anyways. That makes Max done for pretty much. So you can as well just go for it. Ah, Kazumaru's there even. Yeah, Gunji's not charging probably. Else this would have been a cool way to chain. But whatever. The bottom should be free now though. With Kazumaru not being charged, Torb not having a block. We just have to cook. For now it's his Tenma though. Tenma on the roll. But not with Sakuma. Sakuma's there. Doing his job well. So we just blast the ball up front. 
gets it back, we get it back, he gets it back, we get it back again. And that was pretty close, but also pretty bad at the same time. And with the 1-0, we go into half time. Alright. So we'll just do our usual. He has Zagomel, so... There's no way he's changing Zagomel away, right? So we probably just go S plus kick Minamisawa. There's bow and arrow. He's playing no mesh, so Tenma's coming in as a defender. Gamma here. Actually, let's put Kirino over here. Tenma defense. Items. Guard on Tenma. Take on Minamisawa and then just score on Minamisawa. Normally I'd use the Tonus Candy or anything, but on Minamisawa the score is just one free chain, you know? You can just do whatever you want with that. So we'll take that. Kinako against Tayo, Gamma against Torp. Should be good to go. And he can't double Arthur us, because he's already used up one Arthur Mixmax fully. Oh, Ishido, okay. Hybrid Ishido. Is that minion has the four. Is he also playing my formation? Let's keep him here. There's Kinako. Minamisawa's there up front. I know he's reaching that. He's on S plus kick now. 224. And it's 2-0. Tasuke with another steal. Tasuke putting in a shift in the half. That Tenchu is now kind of shit, though, not gonna lie. That's fine, he's probably gonna Tenchu, but he has a body. So I don't think I care about it too much. Okay, fair enough. We'll play it, but we get the ball back. Just shoot it forward for now. Gets the ball. Kinakus there. My Kinakus knocked away. And he shoots, but he's too far outside. He won't reach that. Oh, he will reach that, but we're on Kazumaru, so we should be fine. Yeah. Kazumaru insta block, we're fine to go. And despite us having Mao, it's enough to stop him. So Kinon definitely gave away some things about my teams. That is interesting. But fair enough, I mean they're claw mates. It's not illegal or anything. So don't get me wrong, I'm not talking bad about it here. But 
but it's definitely interesting to me. So now Gamma goes through, Kazumaru's on charge. But you know who isn't? Minamisawa up front, so we shoot with the level 2. For Minamisawa, this should be enough to score. He's there. There's the slip chain 217 at Reno. Or is he playing catch? No, he's not. Yeah, he can't say that. Namisawa's TP might turn to an issue, though, not gonna lie. And there's his Kirino. Yeah, Tusker breaks through, actually. Kirino's here now. That worked as planned. I don't want to waste more of my gamma than necessary. Ah, but Torp's there to intercept. Unlucky. Torp loses the ball right away though, as Kinako's there. Gets the ball out. Kirino dribbling now against Sonizuka. He has that Kirin on defensive midfield though, I would have used him as a defender personally if I knew I was going up against a full chain team. But each his own. And that's just great from Tusky here. Tusky being a legend again, but stopped by Kirino now. I don't mind that, he can use those up. Goalkeeper has the ball now. Onizuka's there. And it's another Kinako thing here. I wanted to pass the ball back to Tenshu, but that visibly didn't work out. That's not reaching the. That's not reaching Ishido, is it? Yeah. So free save for us. 170 can score against Tachimukai, despite double type disadvantage. We play the ball onto the wing. Lose it, but Sakuma gets it back. There's Gamma. This Torp has no block. He's Michimax. And Minamisawa's there again. 225. Can his Onizuka reach onto it though? He can't! 4 0! <laughs> 4 0, we're close to the end of the match. I don't want to say anything too early but it looks like we are winning this match it is certainly going very well for us without a doubt and that's another ball for us Kirino takes the it's fucked no Astral saves the ball before it goes into the out 
Fair enough. But he didn't... Calculate in Tenma. And that almost... Was a great play, but Sakuma did. Uh, Kazumaru did short drop at the end. He stole out his hero time. I think I just tried with Tenchu here. In goes Tenchu. I don't think Gabo can stop that or is it Bubo? I don't fucking know and care! And Minamisawa is just a tiny tad far. Score here. And that is the end of the match. We beat Astra 4 0 in the 7th Ragnarok Strikers Tournament. Thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see y'all in the very next video. Bye!